Now, do black people not go to football matches? Yes, well, there was, there was a lot of black policemen today at Wembley. I'm not talking fair. about black policemen. I'm talking about black spectators. Very few black spectators in Liverpool. Mm -hmm. yeah, very yeah. Sure but th then again, yeah. we're, we're talking about cultures, aren't we? I mean, f for the majority of black people, football is not their indigenous culture. Cricket is see, their indigenous there, culture. There you are. Who plays football on a Sunday? Yeah. Betray. Yes. You are yeah. a That's classic no. example no, of I, least I, insensitivity. No, no, I don't think yes, so. Yes, he is. I don't yes, think are, so. You are. No, what, what, what I'm saying is that fortunately now, with the emergence, since Viv Anderson started uh, playing uh, and became the first England international, and more and more black players coming into the game, that is changing the, the indigenous effect. You see, prior, prior, to, perhaps, the sort. prior, prior to 1974, 75, the heroes were Garfield Sobers uh, uh, and the, the, the Clive Lloyds. Excuse me, with, with the greatest yeah. of respects, I'm sure you've heard of people of Pele, you say. Oh, yes. Those. I'm sure you've yes. heard of Garincha. Kalina. I have indeed. In fact, I use that, I use that those argument great myself. Names. Now, if you're, talking about, if you're talking about history um, mm. and black people watching football, uh, they've been playing football for many, many years in South America, in Brazil, and some of the greatest players in the world have been black, and yes. there have been great followings mm. of, of, of football supporters, albeit um, tele addicts where football support is concerned. I, I, think, I, one of the problems, I think one of the problems has been in this country where you have, and quite rightly, a number of prominent black players, uh, well, they've become prominent, but they've, um, uh, your Viv Andersons, your Cyril Regis, your Lauren Cunningham's, mm. um, and even before that, I can remember Albert Johansson, mm -hmm. um, and, 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 and of course, Charlie Williams. Uh, you're yeah. you going you well back before I was born. Yeah, but they were there. Um, and I think one of the problems that we have, I, as you know, I play for Charlton Athletic, or as you may not know, but we have four, five black lads play at any one time, and you can see already more and more black youngsters coming to the game, which, which is, is exactly, great. Exactly great. what I'm saying. Right, now then. That it's only but since the emergence make, yeah, of those please, that, let, that we're no, getting no, black people that's in. Not, no, no, that, that you, you, you're, you're, gonna, you're escaping a very, very important point here. And the point is, we have to accept a certain amount of responsibility in football that a tremendous amount of verbal abuse has been perpetrated mm -hmm. to the black player. Now, I would be doing an injustice, uh, injustice if I didn't make it quite clear that that, to a large degree, is one of the reasons why a lot of black people do not, are yes. not prepared to stand in amongst I agree that you. nonsense and take the verbal abuse that black players have had to take and have done a brilliant job, accepted it, got on with it, everything that the people in the industry have wanted them to do and have done it, and they have to be commended for that. Yes. Yes. I mean, I, 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 how do you feel yes. But I can put that argument for you. I agree with you entirely. What I am saying is that that has only started since that more and more good black players have come into the game and it's to be welcomed. I mean, because, I mean fellas like John Barnes, I mean, he's my hero. I mean, I, I love the guy. But uh, what the point that I was making is that you didn't see so many black play, uh, faces in the crowd prior to, although there were the Pelés and the Eusebios, they were distant. They weren't from this country. That's right. It, I mean, wasn't, it wasn't in this country, country precisely. Yeah, this once yeah, once, yeah, once, the, black, the, once the black players started arriving in this country, yes. more yes. people yes. started yes. coming yes. in. Well, we, saw, we saw, actually saw it this week no, in no, Iceland, no. <laughs> where, where, the, where, we, where the English B team played there. But the ladies, and the, the black player we had playing with us there was actually heckled with obscene by, by a part of the English crowd there, the yeah. 20, which was terrible. But the lady was talking about, mentioned two, she just mentioned two games. She mentioned, she mentioned Heisel and she mentioned Hillsborough. Mm. Both were in the 80s, four years apart. Mm. I've just given you a small um, uh, indication of that black people have been playing for a long time, black people have been watching football for mm. even longer, mm. and now in the 80s, we're not seeing black players watching football. Uh, sorry, black people watching football. Now, I've been playing since 1977. A lot of more people have been playing after that, and yet we still have a minimum of black people watching football. And the reason is, as I just explained, I think that's the yes. more or less the yes. point you were trying to make. Trying. But yes. And you see, the, the 
the gratification in Toxteth for the fact that the outstanding compassionate figure on behalf of mm. Liverpool at Sheffield was our black player. Jump on, and yes. this has mm. brought immense pride and pleasure to us, right. and it, it has been observed. Now, yeah. I wonder, you see... Yeah, but he didn't have an easy path, did he? Look at the opposition he went through when he signed up with Liverpool. Right? I mean, you say, I've been supporting football since I was a kid. Yeah, I've been playing football. Right? Now, way back in the 70s, I, I couldn't make out what you go over Hackley Marshes and you see some brilliant black players. Right? They ain't just come over on the boat and not been imported. Black players have been here since they've been born here. I right, have been here for years. Oh, well, I couldn't get the bike through on the league. Matches. To be abused and put off of football, right, the black players got to be on the park in the first place. Now, you go over any Sunday park, yeah, you'll yeah. see black players. Yeah. Right, but in the league, yeah. did you see them? It took a breakthrough with Garf, Vince Allaire, a group of them. So they made the breakthrough. Right, at the same time, as the will of the football industry to give black players a chance. Well, they could people... play in the Sunday parks, yeah. but you couldn't put them in the league. And in the 70s, you couldn't think of a black player. It'd be the odd one, token one. Here and there. Well, I think the right. industry, yeah. class, if I and may, everywhere I think, Sunday I think the industry has given myself and many people like me that chance. Thank goodness. Like, yeah, what in the seventies? What have, did the industry done in the seventies? Well, I'll, I'll explain. And, they, and, they, and the industry and we are very grateful. Black players are very, very grateful. That's the only reason you're, you're, you're there, Gareth. You should still be on a Sunday park now. You're absolutely right. And thank goodness now, a lot more people will you want been to. In Polly, well, you? a lot more people from Acne Marshes will want oh, to play football, knowing full well that the industry will give That's them right. an opportunity. I, but I, the I point that I, addressing, yeah, absolutely. But yeah. the point that I was going to make is now we're in a, in a, a great situation, and I, and I hope John will agree with me here, is that we 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 now have opportunities for our finest, our most talented footballers to play for the very best. Uh, which is a, a mark of where we've where we've yeah. come from and where we've yeah. got to. Yeah, but you've had to and win a mark. Of course we have. You've had to we've, win a mark. Well, we've, we've like had to Johnny Barnes did, and Vince Lee will do at Leeds and, and the other guy. Right through the Ameri from the American Revolution, right. back, to win, win back to win people over, my friend. But but we're at a, we're at a point now whereby the likes of Johnny Barnes, is that he's building bridges. Not just him alone, yeah. but what he's doing through his talent, simply yeah, through right. his talent. That's what yeah. football can do, and yeah. that is what the government and people within that government have got to understand. That is the vital thing that football right. can be. I, 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 I think that's. A, I, I, I'm much less optimistic. I mean, Barnes is 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 one of my favourite players. I'm a Liverpool supporter. I think he's a marvellous footballer. Of course, John's not going to agree with me. <laughs> I, I, I am I am to an extent, but but I don't think it's enough to say what what needs to happen is we have to buy a John Barnes, and he has to show. White people no, in Liverpool, saying that that black players can play, and therefore that will encourage mm. them to have a different no, attitude. I'm not to saying that people. at all. That is not what I'm saying. Well, I, I don't and that's think that's not what's happening. Well, it, that's it, not a fair it isn't. It isn't, what it isn't what's happening because I think again that in order to understand how black players are responded to in different cities and how black supporters are responded to, you have to understand the history of black communities in each of those cities. We know what the history of the black community in Liverpool is. It's one of exclusion and ghettoisation, almost since the, 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 the they arrived in the city. I mean, they've been there a long time. They're black Liverpoolians. They're not people who bring a different culture. They're not people who have a different culture from other, other people who live in Liverpool. And they are totally excluded from the football experience, even now that the city has a black player. And I think it, the, the problem is getting white Liverpool supporters. I mean, this is something which I feel profoundly shameful about. Making white Liverpool supporters allow space and provide space for black Liverpoolians to come and watch their team play. Because we did a bit of research in Liverpool it's not just about. Support, it's just well, let, let me finish. We did. We did a bit of research in Liverpool about 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 young people in the area and their attitudes towards the football, and we found no less interest amongst young black kids. In, in the two football teams and in football in general, but they were not able, didn't feel able to go along to watch the games. Not because they were frightened of the visiting supporters, because they didn't feel comfortable with the home supporters, with, with Liverpool people. They didn't feel part of what well, was happening. It's not just in Liverpool, John, is it? I mean, it's, it's in Manchester as well. I mean, you, you have Manchester City's ground in the heart of what uh, is, is the Manchester equivalent of Toxteth. It, 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 it's in Moss Side. And you look at the crowd at Main Road, and there are very, very few. There black are many faces. more black faces. There are many yeah, more, more black faces. There are more black faces. Quite a few but black faces. again, yeah, there, there are lots of clubs around the country that, that are either in, 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 would, in predominantly like black to, areas or predominantly Asian I would like areas, to ask, and yet 90% of the crowd is still white. I would like to ask Garth. I mean, I've got the greatest respect for Garth as a player yeah. and a, 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 a professional person in the game and a leader with, with the PFA, the chair of the PFA now. I would like to ask him, does he think the game has done enough to help 
black players cope with that kind of problem, and to also, and this is, this is the more profound question, to help white players help black players, because it's white players who have the power, the black right. players don't have it. It's the responses of white players we need to work with. And do you think enough has been done in that respect? Well, I, the only way I can answer that is that the industry has received a cultural shock, dare I use that word. The industry itself, and I'll explain, it's, it's very, very difficult, but I'll try nevertheless, is that suddenly we've had an, inf uh, 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 um, an introduction of a number of very good players. They happen to be black, and they've come into the, the, the football industry, they've come into the dressing room. So players, white players, predominantly, have got to cope uh, with also uh, managers and coaches with their backgrounds, with their culture, and to a large degree, the black player has got to um, conform to some degree to the, the dressing room situation, which anybody who's played football will know that there's an awful lot that one may have to cope with. Um, uh, there's a lot of traditional stuff that goes with a football dressing room, any mm -hmm. sort of that sort of situation. Uh, it's taken, it's taken a long time. What do you mean exactly? I'm yeah. dying to know. I've never been in a football Well, <laughs> well <laughs> it's an experience. It, it, well, for example, as, as, a, as a kid uh, at Stoke, um, uh, it was unusual suddenly for me to use a particular type of comb to comb my hair, and I took a tremendous amount of mickey taking because of that. Ironically, 10 years later, everybody was using it, but the fact that when I was using it, it caused me a tremendous amount of, of, uh, of hurt. Uh, and, and the mickey taking in the dressing room can be quite, can be quite painful. Um, they can, they, footballers have been accused of not being able to uh, verbalise particularly well, but when it comes to mickey taking, they're experts at it. <laughs> um, and various other things. Um, but nevertheless... Well, off the top of my head, it's very, very difficult to, 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 to say. But the, the most important point, I think, is that having now got into a situation, having been in the game for 10 years, there's beginning to, there's, there's beginning to, uh, uh, to we'll begin to get a, an understanding, a common ground, whereby they're beginning to realise, and it's happened with John Barnes, it's happened with Cyril Regis, it's happened with all those players, they're beginning to understand <coughs> that we're football players first <coughs> and people, real people, that do all the same things that they do. And although that might sound very strange, being in, living with them every day, every minute of the day, and sharing things, uh, and having to rely on each other, it's a great way of forming relationships. Thank you.